Jin, Jin. I smoked heaven and tree. Someone was on the ring. Just go hide, uh, kill Jelly. Hide somewhere with your mollies. This guy's backseat gaming. Okay, throwing up your util after you have the site. You're playing off your util. This is good. This is how you want to be playing the post plant. 2v2 situation, playing with your brim. Okay, alarm bot popped. The thing is with the alarm bot, so what I would like better, okay. If you're putting it up here, you saw how the alarm bot triggered, but he's behind the wall, so you can't play off of it. I would have liked it if it was deeper in. So as soon as he runs down the steps, alarm bot triggers, you peek off the alarm bot, he's shooting the alarm bot, he's vulnerable, you you win, right? Um, just a note, right? Same with this turret. This turret, it's good for watching lane, but your turret won't be able, you, you cannot peek off of your turret. Always, okay, that's number one. It's number one. Always place your util in an area where you can play off of it. So if, you're, if your turret triggers on lane guy, you won't be able to swing on it. They're both stairs. Okay. Play bomb here. You activate your molly. Okay, I think you activate molly there uh, just to stall, right? Good job. So it's like here's the round, but good round, good round. Can you show me after for a better place for the turret? Uh, okay, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Let me see if you. So this, I would have liked this at the bottom of the stairs, right? You could put the tur turret up here. I see people throw their turrets up on top of this box. It's really good. It's really good to put it up here, because why is it good? The second that they swing here and this turret hits lane, you can swing from backside, and you can you know you can fuck them up. And same with stairs. If he gets exposed from this from stairs, you, you peek on the right side, and then you can play off your turret. So you want to put it in a spot where they have to go deep. The angle. Think of the angles, right? So basically, it needs to be a deep angle where they have to be fully committed where it gets exposed by the turret, and you can get the jump off of your peak. So your peak is going to be the deeper angle. Dart is spinning. La 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 la. You have your roll. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Learning. Hit. You are. Yes, yes. That's good. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna dart. I'm gonna dart. I'm gonna burn. Join. Okay, this peak was a little unnecessary. Make sure you're really waiting out the timer. You know what I mean? Imagine he kills you. If you just wait the timer, he gets detained. You know what I mean? Really wait out your timer before you take kind of aim duels. Heaven. Okay, you have turret. I'd place your turret on top of, uh... Okay, you can put that there, yeah. Put your turret on top of thing. You're exposed from heaven here. I would put it on top of, uh, Jen. Oh, this whole interact- this whole movement was scary. Oh my god, suck my dick. I'm just so good. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Oh! Grim is behind! I'm so sorry I wasn't looking. You always gotta be thinking, where can they be? The second you get sight, somebody needs to be watching flank. And if no one's doing it, you need to be that person. You can write that down. The second you get sight, somebody needs to be watching flank. And if nobody is, then it should be you. Usually. This is a, not a universal law, but it should be a guideline. I see my errors in post plants for sure. Yeah, post plant positioning is usually the big one that a lot of people struggle with, even immortal players. Post plant positioning is an art. Uh, tree, tree, tree. It's an art to it. Tag chamber 40. What's the price for coaching? VOD reviews are free for subs. Live coaching is an additional $5 or a gifted sub. That's right. Good shots, though. Is that the Brimmy with no stimmy? Yes. Oh. Yes. What? No, you don't. You don't have to be enraged for him. Wait, are you talking about the TP or are you talking about the alarms? The alarms are map wide. TP, you have to be close to one of them. Okay, so this ult, when you do ult, this ult is already too late for, for reference. Okay, so if you do ult, you should tell your team that you were planning on ulting so they don't actually push in the site by themselves. Another thing, you never want to ult in this corner. Because this is easily spammable. A lot of Sobas like to have like an Ares or Odin. You can spam this with that. Uh, you know, sh yeah. You want to put it behind the box. Like right here. And make sure that you're 
communicating. I think this is a waste at all. Look how deep your teammate is when your ult actually just gets placed. If they're in sight, they don't even have to worry about this ult because they're already gunfighting. Okay, yeah, you call I, you noticed it. You noticed it, so that was good. We're in a 5v4, by the way. Ah, she's hit. Yeah. Where's your alarm bot? So be ready to swing off of alarm bots. I think you're waiting a little bit too long. You want to you want to peek while he's shooting it. There's one CT I think. Yeah, I heard him walking. I have a really hard time knowing when to go for post plans. Hmm. Yeah, I heard him walking. Okay, you're holding smoke, you're getting the kill. It's like a 5v2. Yeah, wall bank. What is that dart? <laughs> what the fuck was that dart? What's that? What's that silver doing, man? What's that silver doing? <laughs> With the one, he's the gun lives forever. Okay, we're just sacrificing KO then. Sorry, KO. So you, you, right. you have ults, you have ults. But Brim does too. Oh lord. Okay. One heaven. I'm trapped. Yeah, so you're in a situation here where you're you're exposed from both angles. One you're not in a good spot, you know? After planting the bomb, you need I'm to trapped. like reposition. Let me see what happened here. So you plant the bomb, you throw down your util. This but you know, the position that you picked, I mean, your teammates didn't pick good ones. Usually, you know, the ones who are not planting should not be in these positions, but it's all, it's all good. Um, here, I would, you could have played like closer to Jen and then watching door that way. Uh, but here you're exposed from both angles, right? You're exposed from door and you're exposed from heaven. You should never be. So try to avoid putting yourself in angles where you're exposed from multiple angles. Tag no 112. In. I have no idea where to be on a sent A site. Oh, I, I mean, there's there's always... You can go like hell, you can go in front yeah, of Jen to watch door, you know. It, okay, you should never think of like set positions where you should be playing. You should always... Okay. I don't want to tell you every spot that you should be playing on A because it's like I'm giving you the solution and you're not seeing the work. You know what I mean? Like, it's like if, if you were like, hey, what's the answer for number two on a math problem? And I give you the answer, but you don't know why, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you the work needed to get to that answer. And you just need to put yourself in a position where you're not exposed from door and from heaven at the same time. Um, so here watching door is good. Uh, you know, front of the box is watching heaven is okay. Just all of these angles need to be running through your head. Um, Except, uh, and you can run around the map looking at them, right? Just put yourself in a spot and you're like, am I exposed from, you know, heaven here? Uh, or door? Chamber's probably going to be sitting heaven. Okay, wait, you're in a 1v3 here, bomb is down. Wait, how did this even happen? Tag Let me see, what happens here? Save your ult, you pop your ult here. You should pop your ult way earlier. Someone like way, it. way, way, way earlier. The thing is, you need to pop your ult right away. If you are planning ulting on attack, so on attack, pop your ult right away. 
Uh, before your team gets antsy. You want to pop your ult? Second you guys get aim and control, pop it. And then wait out the timer. Wait for it to get to two, and then you can kind of do something. Now... I don't know. You're in a 1v3. Yeah, you got this kill, though. Chamber's probably gonna be sitting... Jetson, uh, so another time, okay, when you have your ult too on attack, you want to group up with your team and ult a site right away. So at the start of every round, when you have your ult, just tell your team, hey guys, I have my ult, let's ult A or B. Or you know what you should do? A, okay, A, you guys want a psychological tip? Watch this move. If you want your teammates to be in a good mental state or they're tilted, let them... Make them decide, but it's your decision. So let's say you want your team to group up and you have KJ ult, okay? How do you get your team to listen to you, okay? You say something like this. Hey, I have my KJ ult. Should we group up A or B, okay? It's a very common tactic that you use on kids, right? When you're like, hey, we have to go somewhere. What shoes do you want to wear? Your, your, you know, your brown ones or your black ones? It's, it's a psychological trick, but it works wonders and nobody will think otherwise. So you want to just be like, I got my KJ ult. Do we hit B or do we do we group up A or do we group up B? Uh, because you're just wasting it, right? You have your ult. You've been, you know, you can't really do much. You might actually have a timing here because your whole team died mid, which is good. So you could close door, but I think it gives your position away. When you're in a 1v3 like this, the best play you can do is look for a kill before you go to plant the bomb right away. You definitely do not want them to uh, to group up and trade you here. What I love doing, especially with a lot of time to play, you you walk around. You use that timing to get a kill. Oh. You got to start throwing you till down. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, that jet is starting to piss me off. Fuck. 35, she has an Odin. That jet is starting oh, to piss bomb. me off. Oh, you had bomb. Fuck. Okay, so one thing too, you want to stick a lot with your team. Stick with your team. I'm noticing you're, you're getting in, you're putting yourself sometimes in pockets where you're by yourself and secluded. Where you end up in like 1v4, 1v5. Lurking is okay sometimes, but not with bomb. And I wouldn't say with Killjoy, especially with your ult, I think. Oh, you don't have your ult. Okay. You guys tried A, your guy Cat died, you guys are regrouping, you're going B. Uh it's probably still mid. Yeah, someone's mark it. God, I hate them! <laughs> My fucking econ is Okay, I think the main focus too is like gun control as well. And oh. peaks. Oh my god, they're annoying. Oh my god, I'm gonna Okay, I like the ults. One CT. Yeah, there's no way you lose this round. Good ults, last round, good stuff. All right, let's see this B setup. Okay, so rule of thumb, you never want to... Uh, actually, you have two sentinels, so this works, but usually you don't want to be on the same site as like a Sova. Uh, you usually have two duelists, right? Like if you have like a Arena jet, you don't want your Arena jet to be left on A. So Sova's really good at B because of his darts, shocks, you can stall. Drones too, if in case there's a lurker, and then you want the sentinel to be like uh, on a site or something. You know what I mean? So something like that. Always got what you got to think about is like your sentinels need to be on the outsides of the map. They're the last rotators, and then your duelists are like on the inside. So it's like a, like a like a donut. The inner donut is your duelists. The quick rotators, the one who's always in the action, and then the outskirts are gonna be like your sentinel players, and those are the ones who are gonna be like late rotating. Uh, always kind of holding it down, you know what I mean? Switching up the setup is smart. Yes. However... Falling off? Yeah. At least I heard one set of footsteps. The thing is, like, when you pulled your alarm bot, you were still on B. So that's, that's the reason I was kind of questioning that. There's... Hit 30. But you see what I mean? Like... What I... Okay. If you're gonna put your turret, don't put it here. 
Don't put it here into main because this is another example of you cannot take advantage of this encounter. He's going to be B main. He's going to shoot this turret and you cannot do anything about that. Maybe you can spam here, but that's risky, right? What I would have liked, tuck it in the corner. Tuck it in the corner and that way it will get the person lane and maybe then you can have a crossfire. You can you can hide like on the ledge and then peek when the turret goes off maybe. I don't know, but you want to play off of your turret a little bit more. So that's something you want to be doing a lot more. This is your main focus, by the way. Your utility usage, I think. Oh, nice. That's a gun. This guy. This is this guy's griefing. Ooh, nice try. But you got the rounds. Good stuff. Good play. So this is another turret I wouldn't recommend, right? Don't Always put your turret in places that, you know, you can, uh, oh, posture check, yeah. I got you, I got you. Chambers pushed out. Spikes in lobby. I'm joining. I like that you're calming this out, though. Your comms are really good, I will say that. You know, when your teammates are fighting, you want to be calming this kind of information out, so this is good. So you're in a 2v1. He's mid. Nice. This is better. This is better. I like this better. I like this better. Why is this better? Chat? Pay attention, chat. Why is this better? Playoff contact? Playoff of the turret contact? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You can peek off of it. Good. Good class. Good stuff. Everybody's learning. Good, 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 good. You can peek off of the turret. And now, if they proc the turret and they shoot at the turret, you get to peek and you can punish it. You know? So this is how you want to set up your utility and not just your turret alarm bots as well oh i i see what you're saying i know what you're talking about the one in here right here right and it looks into garden this one's good too this one's not bad either uh you can always swap it up but i don't want to get too complicated with the turret placements as long as you're getting the idea correct you know in in silver uh, this is the idea playing off of contact of the turret you can place it anywhere as long as you're doing this but yeah there's some really good ones you can probably snag from some really good Sentinel players. On site. So your turret's popping off. I would have, I would have swung here. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I see the alarm bot triggered. I see your turret triggered. I'm swinging here because this smoke isn't covering all of heaven. You can easily swing off of this info. But you're kind of letting them into sight for free. They just ran through your util without any sort of... Okay, this isn't bad. I killed the one planting. Okay, you're in a 3v4. Let's see how you play this. You got turret back up. Spike down, mid. I think they heard me. On, on you, Kidjoy. What? Put him behind. You, you heard him, yeah. Man. Try. Sorry. I think a lot of it's just aim, too. Sorry. I'm telling you, for like most of silver, bronze, iron, it's all just aim related. You could, you can get to gold just by having good gun control, even if you don't use any abilities. Nice shot. I actually think you can probably get the diamond without using you too, I'm being honest, but... Does KJ need to tap fire more? Not tap fire, but just have good gun control. If you're going for- if you're gonna tap, you should have that preemptively in your head. Like, I plan on tapping here, counter strafes need to be good, or movement needs to be good around your taps. And, uh, spraying, you know, commit to the spray, pull your crosshair down, so on and so forth. Okay, so when you have ults, it's better to play off of sight and playing retake completely. What I would like, if you have ults, try to play retake on sights. So instead of playing here on a site, imagine they rush A. What are you going to do? Are you going to pop your ult here? You can't. They're going to kill you and they're going to kill it, right? You get traded. So you should play like maybe garden here uh, or heaven 
They get A, give it to them. Wait for your team to retake. Pop your ults here and retake together. 3v3. Oh, guys. Looks like they went B, though. Okay, you're in a 3v1. All right, good trade. Miami's getting better. It is. No, it is getting better. It is 100% getting better from the last time I saw this. Also, crosshair placement. You want your crosshair placement? Yeah, so always keep crosshair placement at level. The way I, sometimes I see you're like moving around, but your crosshair placement is a little bit low. You want to always instinct crosshair play. You see? Look, look, look. What happens? You see? I think you're looking at the mini map here. I think there's. You're, I think you're looking at the mini map, which is fine. It's good to look at the mini map a lot for the information, but when you are looking at the mini map, you should never be in a, in a high uh, populated area, right? This is a very. Dude, if they peak either side your crosshair placement is not only at their belt level but uh actually i guess it's like stomach lower chest uh but you'd have to flick either side so you should only look at your That's mini map deep. when you're undercover i swear i just zone the fuck out yeah, and i'm just man. aiming at the wall instead of at the edge it just becomes habit. Like, if you ever notice my Game Sense videos when I'm running around the map and I'm just looking at crosshair placement, I don't even think about that anymore. It's just natural at the at this point. This guy was running towards you. Don't push through garage. The way you're peeking this, right? Crosshair placement's low, you're too close to the wall. You don't need to peek this. You don't need to peek this. You're up numbers. You just want to play off of your util. This is another uh, common thing. You just That's want... Fresh. You see what I mean? Like, look. Imagine one person's lurking here. You're dead. So, crosshair placement, playing off of util. How to stop looking at minimap? It's not that you should stop looking at the minimap. It's just that you should only be looking at the minimap when you're undercover. Chambers to mid top catwalk. Yep. I hit him. I hit him with my ult. Oh, nice. Oh, oh I God, saw this. Dude. I saw this in the clip submission. Good stuff. Okay, so overall, yeah, this is the big takeaways right here. The main thing for me, it, it was uh, crosshair placement. And then, I don't know if I wrote this down, but I'm ready to write it again. Only look at minimap when you're behind cover.